Hello, and welcome to the Wayfaring Panda. This is Annette. I want to welcome you to the Team Tiny Autumn Hop. Today I'm making a slider card with Lawn Fawn's Jump for Joy stamp set. I'm stamping Jump for Joy with some vintage photo distress ink because I'm going to emboss it and then I'm going to be doing some ink blending. The paper I'm using is Bristol Smooth because it works really well for ink blending. Next I'm adding my clear embossing powder. Now the one thing I forgot to do is to use my powder tool before I stamped. And then I did get a little bit of the clear embossing powder that stuck. So I had a problem, but I'll fix it later on. I cut out this tree from Bristol Smooth cardstock, and I used a die from one of Lawn Fawn Shadow Box dies. I'm using Tim Holtz Distress Ink, which is the tea die. And then I also went over with Vintage Photo to give it two shades of brown. Next I cut out Bristol Smooth paper with my Lawn Fawn Hillside Border Dye. And then I went over it with Scattered Straw Ink. And then I used my Wild Honey to go, go around the edges to give it kind of a um, dry grass look. This is a hashtag driven hop. So to see the other videos on the hop, just click in the description below the hashtag Team Tiny Autumn Hop, or you can type that in the search and you'll find all the other videos that are in the hop. Team Tiny is a Facebook group of crafters, mostly do paper crafting, and we all have YouTube channels that have less than a thousand subscribers. So you won't see any advertisements on our videos. Next I did some ink splattering by squishing the wild honey on my mat and adding some water and then getting my paintbrush and then I just tapped the paintbrush to get splatters on the paper. I thought this would make it look more like grass does in the fall. We have the zoysia grass, I think that's what it's called, and it turns brown in the winter. We didn't really like that grass, but it kind of spread in from our neighbor's yard. Then I did ink blending on my main panel, and I wanted it to look kind of like a fall sunset or sunrise, I don't know which. I'm going to call it a sunset. So I'm using three different colors, and I'm using mustard seed on the bottom to look more like the sun's on the horizon. And then I'll switch to spice marmalade and candy apple on the top. I think you can't be hungry when you look at all these names of the ink. I'll make a list below with all the different products that I'm using and most of them will be affiliate links. It doesn't cost you anything to click those but if you purchase anything from the affiliate links it does give me back a percent of what you buy from the store. So that helps support my YouTube channel. Also helps support me because I just have a part-time job and actually will probably be getting furloughed in January and most likely won't get many hours in November and December because of everything being shut down and I work in the tourism industry so as you can imagine that's being tight right now. Currently I'm working in the visitor services at the St. Louis Zoo and it's a nonprofit agency but most of our support or about a third of our support comes from tourism the other third we get from, it's a property tax here in St. Louis, and then the third is from donors. So our tourism dollars are down, and of course our donorship is probably down also. So I don't know how much I'll be working after November, but we'll just have to wait and see. 
Now, the one way you can help support all the members of Team Tiny is to watch our videos, and it really helps if you watch the complete video that helps us move up in the stats on YouTube so that other people will find our site and it goes in their algorithm and they put the links to our sites out more to our videos. Also, the other way you can support us is to like and subscribe to our channels, and I really would appreciate it if you'd subscribe. I finished the ink blending, so now I'm putting on the grass part, and I'm using my Tombow Multi Glue to put this on. I think I'm going to get a different glue after I finish this up. I'm not really in love with it. Although I'm not really one who really likes glue, I hate having my fingers sticky. So, I often use my tape runner. Now, that may seem funny coming from someone who was in the education field. In fact, I taught kindergarten a lot as a substitute. And I was a big fan on glue sticks in the classroom. Next, I used my slide-on over die. And I used this little short piece to cut out where the slider is going to go, and I'm going to have a fox jumping out of the tree into the leaf pile. So I just kind of put out my pieces to figure out where to put that. And then this is the piece that was cut out, and I'm going to glue that underneath. So I'm just going to put this on. I haven't put the top part onto the card base, so I'm just using this to see where it'll go, and then I glue that onto the card base. And then I take off the back. Now this is the back of the card and I'm using foam tape. I do not like using foam tape because it's not environmentally friendly, but I did have some of it. If anyone's got better ideas of how to do a slider card without foam tape, I'd be glad to hear it. And I'm going to use a penny. So I'm just put the penny there. It's not attached in any way just to see how wide it is because you don't want your foam tape against whatever you're using for your slider. I ended up using doubling up on the foam tape. Some people use triple layers, but I thought that was a little bit too much, especially since I don't like using foam tape. Then I put some foam tape, just a little piece, on my penny, and I'm going around with my powder tool to keep the sides from being sticky so it doesn't get stuck to the slider part. Now this is the thing I forgot to use when I was embossing. Then I used the glue to attach all my other pieces that I had stamped with the Jump for Joy stamp set and I colored them with Copic markers. I didn't put the coloring in here because with the hop I didn't want the video to be too long. I also decided that I needed a little bit more foam tape on top of the coin so that the fox would be above the leaves. And then it would slide a little better. Another problem I had is since I glued the grass down and the tree down, there was some glue on my card or it was a little sticky. So when I cut out the slider part, my card got stuck to my cutting plate a little bit. So when I took it off, there was a little bit of the yellow that was torn, and so I went over that with my blending tool again. But it didn't matter because I covered it up with the leaves anyway. One of my favorite parts of fall is that the trees turn colors. I don't know if we're going to have much of it this year because it's been really dry. Let me know what your favorite part of fall is. I live in Missouri, so that's where we do get a lot of changing of leaves. I lived in Florida for about seven years, so I really missed it. Now, the problem I had is there's some white marks just under the J and a little other places. I tried going over that with my blending, but it didn't work. So I went over it with a Copic marker that was the same shade of red, and that works. So if you have... Embossing powder that's not allowing your ink to go on, alcohol ink works to cover it up. I want to thank you for watching and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so.